Hey guys, it's Fistful of Cloth here today, and so today some monster analysis video. I'm going to be telling you guys why you should get Acheron out of the current breeding event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Acheron is a self-sustaining attacker, and his traits are going to be Demon, which if you don't know what that does, it makes it so that attacks or skill status effects have a 25% less chance to hit him. And then he also has Resurrection Block and Control Immunity, which Control Immunity is very good. That is probably his only really good trait. And then as well as our Essence and Trap, which are both really great, actually. And then if we go on down to his pros and cons, he's got good relic slots, which yeah, we just went over that. He also has great damage output. He has a zero stamina, zero cooldown skill, which is really good. He also has great power and life, access to two tortures and life steal. He has great self buffing skills, and he has pretty low cooldowns and stamina costs. And then he also has a decent trait. And his cons are his skills are only a dark base, meaning he's weak to other dark monsters, which isn't really a big deal. And his life skill can be countered by reverse and negate healing and he has a bad speed and now let's go on down to his moves to see if they're any good so he has an aoe of 45 dark damage a very basic move but still pretty decent he also has a 70 dark damage with 100 percent life skill which is really good he has an aoe 40 dark damage with nightmares which is pretty decent and then he also has a few different moves suffering will do a 50 dark damage with nightmares and bleed and then rage will do self double damage and control immunity which is a very good move i do like that a lot and then underworld guardian will do a 35 dark damage and 100% life still with zero stamina zero cooldown which is pretty good so yeah this is a pretty good monster i like his 100% life scale moves and he also has that damage boost so you can get even more life so yeah pretty great monster he seems like he will be able to do quite a bit of damage so if you don't have a decent attacker currently Go ahead and get Acheron out of the breeding mat since, of course, it is very easy to get. And yeah, that is all I have to say about Acheron. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of Acheron. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.